Ladies and gentlemen, gather around, because today we're digging into a topic that resonates with so many of us. Have you ever found yourself wondering, is this as good as it gets? Ever dreamed of quitting your job and leaving it all behind? Well, let me tell you something. I have. I've been there. I know what it's like to hate your life on a Sunday evening at 8 o'clock, dreading that soul-sucking commute into the office on Monday morning after a night of tossing and turning. But guess what? I found a way out. I discovered a path to freedom, a way to break the chains and live the life that most people only dare to dream of. I didn't just dream it, I lived it. And today I'm here to share that journey with you, to inspire you, and maybe even to give you the push you need to take that leap of faith. Picture this, it's Sunday night, and instead of feeling that familiar knot in your stomach, you're relaxed, sipping a glass of wine and planning your next adventure. This was my reality after I decided to leave it all behind in America. I packed my bags, said goodbye to the nine to five grind, and embraced a life of remote work and global exploration. I started my journey in Europe working remotely in Italy, Croatia, and Spain. Imagine waking up in the heart of Rome with the Colosseum as your backdrop, or taking a break from work to swim in the crystal clear waters of the Croatian coast. It's not a fantasy. It's real and it's possible, but it didn't stop there. My travels took me further, all the way to Australia. Picture yourself surfing in Bondi Beach after a productive day of work or exploring the vibrant streets of Melbourne on the weekends. The world was my office and each new destination brought with it a wealth of experiences and opportunities. And then I found my tropical paradise, the Philippines. Let me tell you, there's nothing quite like the feeling of working with the sound of the ocean waves in the background, the warm sun on your face, and the promise of adventure just around the corner. From the bustling city life of Manila to the serene beaches of Bohol, the Philippines offered a lifestyle that was both enriching and exhilarating. Now I know what you're thinking. This sounds amazing, but how did you do it? The first step is believing that it's possible. You have to believe that you deserve more than the mundane routine of a job that drains your spirit. You have to believe that you have the power to change your life, to create a reality that excites you, that makes you jump out of bed with enthusiasm every single day. Next, you need a plan. For me, it was about leveraging the power of remote work. In today's digital age, there are countless opportunities to work from anywhere in the world. Whether you're a writer, a designer, a marketer, or an entrepreneur, the possibilities are endless. Find what you're passionate about and explore how you can turn that passion into a career that allows you to live life on your terms. But it's not just about the logistics. It's about mindset. It's about embracing uncertainty, taking risks, and being willing to step out of your comfort zone. Trust me, the rewards are worth it. Every challenge you face, every obstacle you overcome, will only make you stronger, more resilient, and more grateful for the incredible journey you're on. So my friends, if you've ever asked yourself, is this as good as it gets? I'm here to tell you that it doesn't have to be. You have the power to create a life that's not just good, but extraordinary. You have the power to quit that soul-sucking job, to travel the world, and to live a life that others only dream of. Take that leap, embrace the unknown, and remember, the best is yet to come. Your dream life is out there waiting for you. Go grab it. Let's dive deeper, folks. Ask yourself, how many good years do you think you have left in your life? 30, 40, 50? The sad reality is one day we are all going to die. And when that day comes, hopefully many, many years from now, how will you reflect on the life you lived? How do you imagine others will think about the life you've lived? Now, do you wanna have an average life? And don't get me wrong, there's nothing inherently wrong with being average. But let's be real here, that's not for me. And if you're watching this video, chances are living just an average life isn't something you want either. You're ambitious, and you wanna live an extraordinary life filled with passion and purpose. I know I did, and I still have a lot more to achieve before I die. I've created memories, built wealth, and forged friendships along the way. Enough to fill a book, which one day, God willing, I'll write. But until then, I've got a lot more living to do, and I intend on doing it to the fullest. Life is too short to settle for mediocrity. 
It's too short to let fear hold you back, to let doubts keep you in a place of complacency. You have the power to design your life, to shape your destiny. So what are you waiting for? Think about it. When you're on your deathbed, looking back at your life, do you want to be filled with regrets about the things you didn't do, the chances you didn't take, the dreams you let slip away? Or do you want to be filled with pride and satisfaction knowing that you gave it your all, that you live boldly and fully, that you chased your dreams with relentless passion? The choice is yours. You can choose to stay in your comfort zone, to live a life that's safe and predictable, or you can choose to take a leap of faith, to step into the unknown, to embrace the adventure that life has to offer. Yes, it's scary. Yes, it's uncertain. But that's what makes it so incredibly exciting. That's what makes it worth it. Every challenge, every setback, every failure is just a stepping stone on the path to greatness. It's all part of the journey and it's all worth it. And so if you're sitting there feeling stuck, feeling unfulfilled, feeling like there's got to be more to life than this, you're right. There is more, so much more, and it's out there waiting for you. All you have to do is take that first step, make that decision, commit to yourself, to your dreams, to your future, and don't look back. Trust that you have what it takes to make it happen. Believe in yourself, even when no one else does, especially when no one else does. Because at the end of the day, it's your life, your one precious, beautiful life. And you deserve to live it to the fullest. You deserve to wake up every morning with a sense of excitement and purpose. You deserve to look back on your life with pride and satisfaction, knowing that you gave it your all. So go out there and make it happen. Quit that soul-sucking job. Travel the world. Start that business. Write that book. Whatever it is that sets your soul on fire, go after it with everything you've got. And remember, it's never too late. You're never too old, too young, too busy. To anything to chase your dreams, the only thing standing in your way is you. So get out of your own way. Stop making excuses. Stop waiting for the perfect moment, the perfect opportunity. There is no perfect moment. There is only now. Take that leap of faith. Embrace the unknown. Live boldly, passionately, fearlessly. And when that day comes, many, many years from now, when you're looking back at your life, you'll be able to say, I did it. I lived my dreams. I lived an extraordinary life. Because that's what you deserve. That's what we all deserve. So go out there and make it happen. The world is waiting for you. I'm interested to hear what you think. I read all your comments, so please leave a comment below about what your dream is and what you're going to do to turn it into a reality. In the meantime, I'll leave you with some amazing scenes from the gorgeous and always entertaining Philippines seaside to hopefully inspire you to take that first step on your journey. Until next time, God bless you.